Disagree with that, disagree with it, disagree with it, sorry. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Enola and if you haven't been to my channel before, then welcome and if you have, then welcome back. I talk mainly about everything stagey, musical theatre and then like movies and everything in the arts and creative stuff as well as lifestyle stuff and all the like topics that fall into that category. So if that sounds like your thing then don't forget to hit subscribe and also follow me on my social media channels. I'm on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. I will also leave the links to those down below in the description box so click on those. I just want to apologise as well for my hair in this video like this is lockdown hair I've just not been using my hair dryer it's just been drying in its frizzy curly way just apologising for my appearance right now. So today I am here to do a musical theatre related video Basically, I wanted to talk about some theatre opinions. Now, I have got these opinions from different sources. I was just having a little browse on YouTube and Google and different forums to see what people's opinions were and to see whether I disagreed or agreed with the following things. There were some really quite shocking opinions on there. Like, I literally was like, A few of them stood out to me, so I'm just gonna do a quick video today on the ones that I wanted to discuss. I kind of disagree for the most part with these opinions. But again, disclaimer before we start, these reactions are just my opinions. I'm not saying that this should be the correct opinion and this is what everyone should think because of course, we're all humans that are entitled to freedom of speech and so you don't have to agree with me, I don't have to agree with you, but I just thought I would share my view on these things. Now that I have just rambled on for a good minute about that, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so number one, I saw a few opinions that were related to stunt casting. Now, I think this is a kind of touchy subject for the most part. Stunt casting, for anyone who doesn't know what that is, is basically when celebrities or like someone in the public eye is kind of brought in to do a role in a show and they're usually not from a musical theatre background and have never done shows before. So I feel like there's a lot of different opinions involved in this particular thing but the one that I was seeing quite a lot was that stunt casting is really bad should not be done and is a terrible terrible thing and I just want to say for the most part I disagree with this now I when I was a bit younger and a bit more naive to things I was that person that was like yeah stunt casting's kind of bad like uh, <laughs> but my mind is a lot more open these days and I see the bigger picture and I think that there's kind of pros and cons to everything but my opinion on stunt casting is as follows. I think it's really bad to say that people don't deserve to be cast in certain things because they're not from a musical theatre background or I saw someone say they were qualified and I just think that struck a nerve with me because I was like qualified, okay so speaking from someone who didn't go to a top notch drama school right here, I still have studied like performing arts and musical theatre on various platforms and have worked in the industry as well so it's not always about that hardcore training, of course it's like a massive part of things and people pay a lot of money to go to drama school and I absolutely think that's a whole different discussion but I just think it doesn't take away anyone's right to be auditioned for shows or actually be in musical theatre performances just because of that because there's so much talent out there and some people have a lot of reasons as to why they didn't go to a drama school, do you know? But anyway, that's more aimed at like general people, not necessarily celebrities. So we'll get back to the celebrity vibe. I still think it's unfair to say like they're not qualified for it because if, if these celebrities are talented and they are good at singing and acting and portraying a character, who's to say that they can't have the opportunity to do so? You might get people that are like a YouTuber, for example, that hasn't done any musical theatre shows, but maybe they, they really enjoy musical theatre and they're actually really good at it and they just haven't done it professionally but they're actually very talented and can do the job. Who's to say that they can't get the opportunity if the opportunity comes along? My opinion basically is if someone is giving you an opportunity then take it because I'm sure people in that position would do the same thing for the most part. You might disagree but I think never say no to amazing opportunities especially if it's something that you do want to do. Now on the flip side of course if they are casting someone who maybe isn't that great at acting or singing or doesn't have 
like any experience or any knowledge or like any passion for it at all like say it's completely random and they just bought this person in purely for the name but this person genuinely has no interest in musical theatre then maybe that's not a great idea because then you're not gonna see someone portraying that role in the best way that it could be so I get that side of things but people for example let's name drop I've heard the new cast recording of 9 to 5 with Amber Davis and I have to say that I thought her voice was great another reason I disagree with the whole stunt casting thing being bad is because if you think of it from like a business point of view as well like some great shows that have come to the theatres and you want them to stay in the theatres and get like bums on seats I think it is good to sometimes for a period of time have a bigger name sort of cast in a role it's good for ticket sales it's good for getting people to the theatre and it may open doors up to people that genuinely wouldn't have seen that show if it hadn't had that certain person in it so it's kind of opening it up to a wider audience which I think is great because it's going to draw more people to the theatre and then it's going to keep theatre alive and the show's running for longer because you know they're going to get more ticket sales yeah anyway sorry if that was a bit rambly i just think that stunt casting has its pros and cons i think if that person is talented and brings something to the show and has a passion for musical theatre then amazing that's just a positive thing like why wouldn't it be i think everyone deserves a chance so let me know your opinion i would love to hear it okay number two now this was one that occurred quite a lot and i was just like Hold your tongue and all, hold your tongue. Don't respond to people directly. This was Hamilton is overrated. Now, I do understand and empathize with people who feel that, but I also think they are wrong. <laughs> and that again is just my honest opinion I feel like Hamilton is a work of art it's genius like it's just genius the bit that's probably a bit overrated is the hype because I'm one of those people personally that when there's a massive hype I'm just like nah like I can be a bit close-minded sometimes to a hype because I just feel like it's just too much in my face so I have to be brutally honest and when I very 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 first heard of Hamilton it wasn't that I didn't like it, I just didn't open my mind to go in to listen to it. I was just kind of like, there's this massive hype going around, I'm going to get to it in my own time. But when I did get to it, I was just blown away and it was, it, it's worth the hype. Like I completely get the hype because it's just so original and amazing and I've got so many things to say about it, as I'm sure many people do. So I would be here all day if I was to talk purely about Hamilton. I do feel like when people are just like Hamilton's overrated, it's kind of like, well, you, it's not though, because when you watch it, especially live, it is mind blowing. It is just like Lin Manuel is a lyrical genius. Like the wordplay and the construction of it all, and the, the songs, the performance, the choreography, the stage presentation, the journey that it takes you on, literally everything is just it's so detailed, it's so well done, and it is just like no other like there's just nothing like it i'm not saying it's the best thing ever because of course there is like other musicals that are amazing in their own ways but i just think that just because it's been very hyped up does not mean it's overrated i feel like it deserves that hype and i will forever worship lin manuel so that's my opinion but i do understand i understand why people would think it is but i do think they're wrong Number three, I saw a lot of people saying that if you don't like the classic musicals or like really obscure, unheard of musicals, then you are not a true musical theatre fan or performer or whatever. And I disagree with that. I think that things that are in the mainstream, like Hamilton, Wicked, like all those types, if they're your favourite musicals, absolutely fair enough. That doesn't make your love for musical theatre invalid. Some people just have different preferences in terms of style. For example, me, myself, I like a variety, but if I had to pick anything, I do prefer the more contemporary musical theatre as opposed to the more like legit, classical sort of stuff and that's purely because of my own vocal range I prefer the more modern style of things so my favorite musicals you know Hamilton's definitely up there Wicked's definitely up there things like Mean Girls and Frozen and Heathers and Beetlejuice and Six and all those types I'm very like down for that like I love that I thrive off that I would really hate it if someone called me a fake or say or thought that I was invalid for loving those things because I have had musical theatre running through my veins and my blood since I was literally since I was a kid in school and 
I have to tell you, when I was like 14 and first heard Wicked in school, I heard what is this feeling and I was just blown away. I was like, what is this? Like, what is this feeling that I'm feeling? <laughs> oh my God, I know, let's stop it. I loved it and I was just like in love with it and that's what grew my love for it. So yeah, I just think it's really unfair to say that people are fake for not liking the old stuff or for like just not liking like a really random musical that's so niche that people may not know about it. That doesn't make your love for it any more valid than other people's love for it. So yeah, I just, I have to disagree with that one, I'm afraid. Okay, so number four, I'm only gonna do five. I heard someone say that they hated, hated the works of Andrew Lloyd Webber. I just think if I'm gonna be totally honest, that's a really kind of ignorant thing to say that you really dislike the works of Andrew Lloyd Webber, only because, and this is just my opinion, I feel like he's like iconic in the musical theater industry and some absolute classic songs and musicals have come from him and like have gone down in history and are still like here today as well, like thriving. And I just think it's, I just think if you're, especially if you're a performer and you were going to audition for musical theatre, how could you go and do a, and like a, an audition for an Andrew Lloyd Webber musical knowing full well that you don't respect his work and like, like his work? I just think that's kind of just a bit, ugh, that just didn't sit well with me personally. For example, I love Evita. Like I think Evita is amazing. I think the songs are just so great. I love singing to them. I loved watching the movie adaption of that as well. He's got a knighthood for goodness sake. He's just part of the progression of musical theater. He is a massive part of that. And I just think to say that you don't like any of his works is just like, like, yeah, you're entitled to your opinion. Yes, you're entitled. But I just think to broadcast that, I just thought it was a very, very bold statement to make. I just think he's brilliant. He keeps those classics alive, you know? And I really enjoyed School of Rock and that's Andrew Lloyd Webber. And I think that is epic. And I just think, yeah, he deserves so much credit as a musical theater composer. So yes, I just, yeah, disagree with that. Disagree with it, disagree with it, sorry. Number five, my last opinion reaction. I heard this from a few different forums. People were saying that the West End kind of gets all of Broadway's hand-me-downs in a way. They wish that it would stop happening and that we would just produce more original stuff in the West End. And with this one, I'm like half and half. I'm like, I agree with some things but I disagree with other things. My opinion on this is that again it's to do with a wider audience like I've listened to so many Broadway soundtracks and watched so many like snippets of things happening in, on Broadway and I'm just like oh my goodness I wish that would come to the UK because you know I'm not able to get to New York every other month you know to watch these things so it would be amazing if that opportunity was brought over here. For example Hamilton like if that hadn't have come to the UK, I would have been devastated in a way because it's so, so good. Basically for people who can't get to New York on the reg, like they have the opportunity to see it in London and done by like a fresh new UK cast as well. It's good to, it, I think it's great to see UK actors putting their take on it. It's opportunities all around, opportunities for performers, opportunities for audience members. Like, I think it's great. Stuff like Frozen, I was, I'm so excited for Frozen to come over here like obviously pre-corona. There's so many shows that I see on Broadway and think, I wish that was over here, I wish that was over here. And going way back to Wicked, I was obsessed with Wicked, obsessed. And then when it came to London, it was like a dream come true because I could finally see it. And that was back in like 2006 or 2007. What I kind of agree with is I do think we should produce more stuff here in the UK that could then go over to Broadway maybe. I do think that a lot of Broadway stuff is like movie adaptions, but I'm all for that personally because the movies that they're adapting, I'm just like, yes! I love this movie and that would be great on stage, amazing. But yeah, original stuff, I do think like we should get some more stuff going here in the UK, like for sure. I agree with some stuff and disagree with other stuff. Anyway, that was my video today on reacting to some opinions. There are so many out there and um, I probably will do another video somewhere down the line with some more. But if you guys have any opinions, I would love to hear them. So drop them in the comments below and I'll happily will respond. I'm still kind of new here in the YouTube world and I'm loving it, it's great. I haven't done a video for a while I've done a few singing videos if you go check out my channel but yeah I love to hear from people so definitely drop me a line don't forget to follow me click subscribe give this video a thumbs up have a great day everybody and yeah see you later